Good evening to you. A day after an explosion and fire destroyed a southern Kentucky home, state police now say they found four people dead there, and tonight we are learning more about the victims. The explosion just ripped through the home yesterday afternoon at a home on M. Coomer Road in Adair County. Officer Don flew over the scene in Sky First today, getting this aerial video of what's left. Phil Pendleton talked to someone who knew the victims. It's our top story at six. M. Coomer Road remains blocked off to all traffic while police try to figure out what happened here Tuesday. The blast that neighbors nearly a mile away say they felt destroyed the home owned by Mitchell Coomer. He was a very clever man. He, he did a lot of a lot of very interesting things in his lifetime, and and uh, uh, he always had a smile on his face, always thinking of something new to do. He was a good guy. Active in the Kentucky Truck Pulling Association, in fact, his family and friends say that he worked on monster trucks in his gigantic basement. He also owned some gas wells. They've, they've been good, hardworking folks all the time that I've known them. Good, good people. Relatives say Coomer, his wife, a one year old granddaughter, and an employee who would have been 33 years old today, were at the home when it blew up and was engulfed in flames. It's just a terrible tragedy. A federal, state, and local investigators sift through the home's remains. LaFon says his church literally opened his doors to the family. It became a refuge. We're a rural area out here, and, and everybody here is family. You know, everybody knows everybody, and uh, we always try and look out for each other. Now, everyone just wants to know why this happened. They hope it never happens again. In Adair County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Police said this afternoon that two of the victims were found inside that home, and two were found outside.